Um, what I like to do is just kind of randomly play different notes of the scale to see how they sound, how they relate to what bass line I'm playing. That's the octave. Seven. Seven next. Let's do it again. Six. So that's a, just an idea of what what it could sound like. It's tough for me to talk and say that at the same time. But which one did you guys like? Which one did you guys like when I fell on it? It was like, oh, yes, that note. You know, so sometimes you kind of, you know, uh, you can kind of theoretically base your exercise, right? So I'm using a Dorian scale, and then I'm going based on, I mean, I can simplify the bass line too, but you guys get the idea. But I can just play all of those notes, and all I was doing was playing seven or octave seven, six, five, four, three, two, one of the Dorian scale. So it's up to you to figure out, you know, what do you like? What was that? Which one was it? You know, I'll do it again if you guys can't remember. But when I land on it on the note, sometimes what helps is just to sing it while I'm playing the rest of the groove. I like the four. I don't know why. I like I like the four. I don't know. The four is actually the A in the key of E, right? So one, two, three, four, right? Uh, the three obviously just makes sense. That's the minor third. That's what makes it that minor, right? That's what makes the groove minor, right? Mm -hmm. 